Hello guys, uh, this short video will show you how to how to remove the gems gemless screw this type of screw out uh, the manufacturer uh, lock this gem screw very tiny and here I can't get it out uh, I use several type of this has gear and you can see this area is not straight but it was twisted you can see and one one problem is that this type of gem school are thin in the wall and as you as this was tiny screw down when when take it out or unscrew it this film wall will break or it will expand and cram on the screw hole more tiny and no matter how I try to add some add some WD-14 there and also I use I put the key here and hammer it down I can't get it out still and I figure out another method uh, metal will expand us when it's heated up so you can see here there is two spots here this was the remains of the shoulder this type of this shoulder for soldering the PCB and I, I use two this shoulder gun and you can use one if your shoulder gun is high power and I put one in this here and another one is here to heat up the pushing as, as this pushing was heat up the hole will be expanded 82 and then I will use use back the head gear here but before I need to put some water at the tip of the head screw or you can just a small drop of your saliva and then insert this head screw in into the the screw hole and as soon as the water touch the screw the screw will cool down faster than the this metal housing and I can turn it out and now I don't need to in in before so I, I I can't turn it out I I figure out I need to use twist steel to damage the drill out the, the screw and also the screw hole to get it to get this this screw out of the bushing and then I will need to make another new screw hole but now I can turn it out and I 
it, this is very tidy school. I don't know why why it's tidy so much. Go here. You can see. The school still un in un in is intact, still perfect, and the school hole is still perfect. And you can see there is shoulder here to to increase the surface contact of this. I need to put some shoulder on this tip and then contact with this curved metal surface because the two surfaces are curved and for better contact you need to press some shoulder and I finish it by less than 5 minutes and another method you can use is use the burner to burn this but too much heat will be add on the on the metal pumps and I afraid this it will make some deformation and also it is it is small area the frame will burn the other parts and I think so uh so the so the iron is a good method and thank you for your watching if you like the video please thumbs up and subscribe it